Good afternoon everybody and welcome to tray 3 of my Invisalign. I haven't actually got my braces in at the moment because I've just taken them out because today is the 8th of December and I've got to upgrade them to the next set so I'm just going to put them in but I'm just going to do it maybe towards the end of the video because they because obviously I'm just going to lisp and you're not going to be able to hear me very well and I've only just had dinner so it's just going to be better to just do it at the end. So these are the old ones and I just wanted to quickly tell you guys well with the old ones I've had the first set and then obviously this is the second set and we're on to the third but I'm going to do an endurance test with these little suckers and find out how much um, how much they can take so I'm just gonna I'm gonna put one in the press I'm gonna put one underneath the car wheel I'm gonna put one in hot water and just do loads of different tests on them just to see how much these will take before they will actually start to lose shape so if you're interested in seeing a video like that remember to click that subscription button and uh, follow me and set your notifications so you can find out what it's like so this video is just literally uh, the essentials you need when doing an Invisalign and then I'll tell you what it feels like to put the the third tray in once I've got that in. So this is this is essential. This is the essential thing you're gonna need if you start Invisalign. Okay, this thing here. Yep. So I'll just show you what's in here at the moment. So in this little side pocket, this got this for $2.99 out of home bargain. So that's like a bargain. That's why it's called home bargain. But anyway, so I don't know if you can see this is the one that I've got I put on. I put the little date on there. So that's the 22nd of the 12th obviously 2016 uh, that that's gonna be another video so come on the 22nd if you want to see another video of that so that'll be my fourth tray and then I'll put in here today my new ones which I'm gonna put on in a moment so look, I, I keep my little green thing in there the chewy and these are this is the new one and then every time you can see that tooth there that tooth there's the one that is annoying one I hate the one that I dislike in my videos although a lot of people just say they don't notice it but I'm just getting close so you can see so I don't know if you can see here look look how far in that tooth goes and then look at this side this side is absolutely okay and then this side it's like but look they're kind of cheese they look like they're going yellow because the glue that sticks these the little tabs on the glue there has discoloured because I have a coffee in the morning because I cannot function without coffee in the morning so because I have a coffee in the morning it stains the glue and I thought that if you keep brushing that the glue that's around there will disappear and then literally the glue behind the the little tab would disappear but it doesn't so now I've kind of stained them and now I'm not going to get brilliantly white teeth until I <laughs> go and have them whitened which is in 14 months which I worked out is 2018, so good luck with that one, Dan. So, anyway, I'm just going to have to just speak to them next time I go. Maybe they can file it away or something, you know, there's some of the glue. I don't know what they're going to do. I'll need to speak to them, but stay tuned, guys, because I will find out what they do. So, anyhow, so that's the one I'm going to be putting in. So, this is the essentials of what you're going to need. So, you need to carry this bag around with you. You're probably going to keep buying loads of toothbrushes if you're like me and you always forget your toothbrush because I tend to forget it a lot so that so here you go this is my bag and I'll show you what's in there so I've got toothpaste I've actually got a lot of toothpaste to be fair I've got that I've got this Colgate Max white toothpaste this blank X white shock toothpaste I've got um, I got Aqua Fresh toothpaste. I think I got like toothpaste for every single mate, to be honest with you. And like, this is my toothbrush. So I've got all these toothbrushes. These, I just buy one because I forget one, and then I get one and I get some toothpaste, and then it's just getting insane. And this is like the first one that Cathedral Dental gave me, which is cool, and I haven't even opened it yet. So because I tend to forget it. Right, so. Let me just, so they're essential. You need to make sure you've always got toothbrushes and toothpastes. What I found is this little toothbrush here. Don't know what it's called. Uh, my girlfriend actually told me to get it. It's just like a tiny little toothbrush that you usually get in your teeth. But I've not been using it for my teeth. I've been using it. I'm going to show you this manky um, thing. So li literally this gets in the little gaps and cleans them really well in, in the little tiny holes. So 
if you want something that's good and to clean it, you can use a toothbrush, but I found that like in the tiny little gaps, it doesn't get in there and it leaves us a tiny little bit of mess behind. So if you want to do, just kind of get in there with this little tiny one. They're like 99p, they're not a lot of money. And that, that helps, you know? Well, I just put that down, make sure I don't put that on. Right, so, let's go on to floss. I The floss that I use, that I would want to recommend to you, that to use, I ran out of it. So I'm going to just show you the ones that I've got and tell you how much I hate them because I do hate them. So I've got this one which is just like a, I don't know, it's just like a Sainsbury's own brand one. And literally it's like a really tiny thin line there. So uh, I, I like it but it does hurt. Yeah, can you guys, do you guys floss like right at the back? Because I can get uh, 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 uh. Make sure when you floss, you floss like right at the back, get out all that rubbish because you think you have Invisalign in for a long time and you do not want it to ruin your teeth. Right, so the next one is this tape. Oh God, this stuff is horrible. I tell you, I don't know why I've got it in there. I need to go get the new stuff. I'll tell you the stuff that I've got. So let me just pull a bit off. I'm probably trying to pull a bit off so I'll waste it then I'll just go get some new stuff. So this is Oral-B satin tape. You see my thumb? Look, I've got blood blister. It's gross. Anyway, so, look, it's quite thick. It gets in your teeth quite easily and quite well, but it feels weird because it's a tape. It sort of, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. It just feels really weird. I don't like it. So the one that I've been using, I don't know the brand, but I'll find out in the next video. So if you want to find out, obviously come tune in then. But it's one where you put it in between your teeth and when it gets like wet and it's in between there, it expands. So as it expands, it sort of cleans them really well because it gets out the big bits that are stuck in your teeth. So as you're putting it in and you're like flossing, it expands in between your teeth. And I feel like it's doing something. I feel like it's actually scrubbing them and getting it out. So that's really good stuff. I'll find out what it's called. I'll put it in the comments below. So if you want to find out, it'll be down there. If there's any questions you have on Invisalign, guys, just... Don't hesitate to message me below because I can. I will contact you within 24 hours or even sooner and I will tell you uh, the, the question. And if I don't know it, I will phone my orthodontist and I will ask him. So, if you want to know. So, that is the essential you need to make sure you have your bag and take your bag everywhere you go because you need that. I will do, I'm going to be doing a video on cleaning. So, I'm going to show you what I do to clean my teeth, show you what I do to clean the Invisalign brace itself, and then obviously I told you I'm doing that endurance test as well, so we're going to find out how much, I haven't seen an endurance video on Invisalign, it's probably because it's a bit crazy, but find out how much these can take. So like, if you like get it really too hot, we'll put it in boiling hot water, we'll see if it actually changes the design and whether it melts it or not. So we'll just, we'll just, do, um, we'll just do some fun tests on it. So if you have any ideas, on what sort of tests you'd like me to do on the Invisalign brace, let me know, okay? So just comment in the box below, just say, hey Dan, uh, can you do this, try this, what if this happened? So just kind of like a what if. So what if this happened to your Invisalign brace, what if that happened to your Invisalign brace, and things like that. So I just want to show you one one more thing real quick. So I'm just gonna run and get it. Didn't have to go far. Here I am. My dentist, sent me a Christmas card. So have a magical Christmas. And then it says, Dear Dan, you're... I don't like to be called Daniel. I'm Dan. It says, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Best wishes, Indian, all the team at Confidra Dental. So that's really cool. Like, my dentist sent me a Christmas card. I love it. It's really cool. It's really personal. I'm going to send them one back because I'm the sort of person, if you send me a Christmas card, I will return the favour. Unless you're family and friends, obviously. But guys... Yeah, if you want to send me a Christmas card, you can. This is my first Christmas card I've got this year. Oh, actually, and my girlfriend can me a Christmas card. I better say that. We'll be in trouble. Right, so basically, I've been doing a lot of... Um, we got another Christmas card here, actually. It doesn't... It's got nothing in it. Anyway, so... Right, so... It, guys, thanks for coming over to my Invisalign and checking it. Actually, before I go, I better put it in, hadn't I? So, but this is this is tray free, so I'll let you know how it feels. Let's just quickly pop it in, so it's done. I can feel them moving already, like pressure and stuff like that. And the orthodontist told me to put this in at night before you go to bed. I'm not going to go to bed. I'm the sort of person that stays up to two in the morning because I can never sleep because I'm always doing YouTube. But yeah, so 
let's put it in. So this is the top tray. Get closer. It's always really tight when you get the when you when you <laughs> I can't talk when you put this tray in <laughs> when you put the tray in it's really tight and it's a sense of like satisfaction because you know that it's working and that it's you know doing what it's trying to do so that's in right so let's put the bottom ones in. Oh, that feels tight there. Oh, that one must be out quite a bit. Alright. Feels alright. Right, so now, once you've got it in, you need to use your little chewy and you... Okay. A bit spitty. But, yeah, so there we go, guys. So I've got them in. I'm probably going to list a lot, but like, like Indy said from Cathedral Dental, put it in at night time, and then it it will it will move and it will hurt the most at night when you're asleep. So then hopefully you won't notice it as much. And here I go again, lisping. But yeah, it it, feel, it feels fine. It feels good. It feels tight again. I like the sense that it's tight because you get used to the one in two weeks, and then it's not tight anymore. So it's good that it's tight. So guys. Thanks for coming to uh, watch me and see my tray free. I hope that you want to follow me for my whole journey. Let's find out where we can get these bad boys fixed. And uh, see you again next time. Bye.